Xander Schauffele has one of the best golf swings on the planet. He's one of the best players in the world. He always performs at the biggest events in the major, and today we are taking a look at his golf swing in slow motion, high definition, with iron driver from down the line and front on as well. And I will be breaking it down for you guys to help you understand his motion and learn from it and apply it to your own golf swing too. So let's dive straight in and get started. Here we have Xander set up with an iron. And by the way guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that like button, subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified of all my future videos, and you know, comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you have to think. So let's dive in and take a look. Xander set up with an iron here. Now first of all, let's take a look at Xander's setup position. Alignment is perfect, hips, shoulders, arms, feet, all in perfect alignment, completely square. Xander is pound for pound one of the longest hitters on the planet. He has an incredible golf swing that we could all learn from and could help us improve our golf. What I particularly love, you can see his hips are stacked over his ankles. This is incredibly important in the golf swing. His posture is very, very, very good. As he takes the club away, beautiful wide takeaway. If we pause it parallel to the ground, that club face matches his spine angle perfectly. It's a one-piece takeaway. He has very, very late wrist set in the golf swing. So as we play this through, takes it to the top slowly. Very, very little and very late wrist set as he pulls it at the top. If we look at his body, he is beautifully coiled from the ground up. We can see he's loaded into that right side, that right hip. His leg action is pretty incredible. His shoulder and hip planes are identical. And I love how his right arm isn't too bent. What I mean by that is if you get your right arm too bent, your swing's gonna be quite narrow, your arms could get too deep, and then you have to release it back down into the ball. But Bright, uh, sorry, Xander keeps his right arm at a pretty consistent level throughout the entire golf swing, which helps him create a huge amount of width in the golf swing, which is one reason he is such an incredible player, and we will be talking more about that later because it is incredibly important. As we start to play it down, he also from this position has a club face fa fairly open. I think he has quite a weak left hand grip. He has quite a bowed left wrist. As he starts to slowly play it down, he shallows the club out beautifully, keeps good connection with the arms to the body. If we pause it parallel to the ground, I love this position, seeing that triangle of daylight between the arms and the body, that right elbow really beautifully tucked in, keeping great connection as he's starting to rotate hard through the golf swing as we slowly play it. Through. Beautiful position there, super connected. There's very little that can go wrong from here. And then as we play it through slowly, he releases the club hard, delivering all that power he's built up, rotating over and a beautiful balanced, pretty iconic Xander Schauffele finish. Let's play through it just smoothly a couple times and take a look. I love how wide he keeps the club head, how it's very, very late wrist set, and also not too much wrist set, doesn't keep a huge amount of lag, which I know a lot of people like, but actually lag can get you into trouble in quite a few areas. If you keep a wider, more consistent club plane, it's going to be a lot better and more consistent overall. I love how hard he rotates through it in that beautiful, iconic release through the ball as well. So now let's take a look at Xander Schauffele with a driver. We're going to first of all have a look at a front on angle and then we're going to have a look at a down the line angle. It's such a beautiful look here. Just perfect images to look at for his golf swing at the moment. Again, let's just play through this and pause it as he gets to parallel to the ground. Look how wide he is keeping that takeaway. That is absolutely incredible. We could all learn to do that. I'm personally trying to get more width into my golf swing at the moment, and I'm feeling like I'm trying to get the club head as far away from my body as possible as we slowly play it through to the top. I love how coiled and wound up his body's getting here. If we pause it at the top, still pretty minimal wrist set. It doesn't get to parallel here. He, but we can see with his hips and shoulders how hugely coiled and wound up here he is. We can see how much power he is actually generating in the golf swing. A note here, it actually looks like he has a little bit of bend in that left arm. 
I hadn't actually noticed that before. It's not something I would 100% recommend. Not sure if he's aware of it or not, or maybe he's tried to work on it or just plays with it. Some players do. Brooks Kepka has a little bit of bend he kind of maintains in his left arm throughout the golf swing. As we slowly play it down, I love how he keeps this width, shifting pressure onto his left side, rotating hard as we pause it parallel to the ground. We can see now that he's delivering all that pressure back into his left side through the golf balls. We slowly play it through to impact, coming through super shallow, hitting up on the golf ball. Just We can see how rotated those hips are, open to the target. I love how you know his hands are ahead of the club here. Really, really good look, love that. As he swings through, releases the club super hard and beautiful balance finish again. Let's play through it just a couple times uninterrupted. Such a good look, I love this swing. I just love the balance, the fluidity of it, how wide it is, the width, coiling from the ground, creating all that power and then really rotating hard and releasing everything down and through the ball. One more time, let's have a look. Pay special attention here to his body, how he's really coiling up using the ground, a huge shoulder turn as well, really athletic movement, and then how he unwinds that on the way down. Now, let's take a look at Xander from down the line, so on exactly the same day, so a super good look to take a look at his golf swing here. As we have him set up to the ball, beautiful setup again, nothing we haven't already mentioned there. If we play it through to parallel with the ground. Beautiful wide takeaway. Again, anyone could copy that position. It is a really beautiful look. As he takes the club, we can really see l l late, late wrist set to the top of the backswing. Such a beautiful look. This is a good look to see how uh, bowed that left wrist is here. The, uh, but yet, his club face is actually reasonably square. This leads me to believe that he definitely has a slightly weak left hand grip, possibly. I love the width he's created with that right arm at the top. Uh, you know, having that arm slightly, slightly straighter. He does have that right elbow relatively far away from his body, actually. This is going to help him kind of get more external shoulder rotation on the way down and shallow out the club. This is something coaches like George Gankus quite like and talk a lot about as well. So I personally like to have my right arm more down and in front of me, my right elbow, and you know, just helps me get into a slightly better position like Jordan Spieth kind of does it this way, Tiger Woods does it more this way, but you know, players like Roy McIlroy, Dustin Johnson go the other way and have the right elbow at the top of the swing slightly further away from them. As we start to swing down, beautiful, that right elbow externally rotates, moving back out in front of him as he shallows the club, pulls it parallel to the ground, really nice position here, club, uh, right elbow, sorry, is tucked in beautifully. He does, looks like he loses his posture from this angle, it's kind of a little bit hard to see, but that club is in a perfect position here. That right heel is quite high up off the ground here, kind of almost Justin Thomas-esque, um, but he hasn't kind of moved it too much into the ball or isn't moving back off it. His weight is all shifting onto his left side, moving through the golf ball if we pause it at impact here. That is a pretty good position. We can see how much power is moving through the ball. Uh, he has lost his posture a little bit from this angle. It looks like he's early extended a little bit here. Uh, his right hip and right knee have kind of moved in towards, which is why he doesn't have a huge amount of space. But he's going to fix that problem by then releasing the arms out pretty hard, releasing the club and coming through to a beautiful balance finish. Let's play through it one more time. We're going to see him Huge, huge wide takeaway, late wrist set as he slowly gets to the top of the swing. Love that, using the ground, coiling, and then unwinding his hips and really releasing the club pretty hard as he swings down and beautiful balance finish. Let's do it one more time. If we really look at how he uses the ground, it keeps the club head super wide, coils his body up, and then that right heel and right knee and right hip move slightly up and into the ball and beautiful extension 
at the end of his golf swing. So guys, that is Xander Chauflet's golf swing. Let me know what you've learned from that. Personally, the bits of it I would recommend copying is the width he creates in the backswing. I love that, how he coils his body up, gets into great positions there. Some things I maybe wouldn't copy so much is a, maybe a weak left hand grip. More players nowadays are going towards a stronger right hand grip because you don't have to bow that left wrist so much. That can cause some injuries like we've seen with Brooks Kepka. Another thing I wouldn't 100% recommend is that right heel and right knee and right hip moving in towards the ball so much, moving up off the ground so early. Um, it kind of cramps him for room just a little bit sometimes. And I've definitely seen some amateurs not do that effectively, but some good players do it too, like Justin Thomas. Colin Murakawa does it a little bit as well. And of course, Xander Schofle. But I hope you guys have learned something by that swing or just taken a good look at Xander's swing. Make sure you do give this video a like, subscribe to my channel for all the latest best players, golf swing analysis, golf news, and golf tips, and much, much more as well. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.